Thanks a lot for stopping by, you guys. In this one, we're rescuing a buddy of mine's uh, Zone Mortalis terrain for Horus Heresy. A little bit different take on it. Um, I normally, I, I can't do what I normally like to do with terrain, which is get wild with the textures and things like that on this one. Um, that's gonna be more for the paint video. This is a four x four board. There's a lot of terrain here that I'm working with. So I just, I couldn't fit uh, the painting part of this uh, in this video. That's okay, there'll be another video. It's not a problem. Um, like I said, little change of pace here. Um, I hope you guys enjoy and we'll see you at the end. So anyways, here we are, we're unboxing. Oh my goodness. So these are really cool. I don't actually think they make this anymore. This was a kit from Promethium Forge um, a couple of years ago. I don't know if it came with the magnets, but um, the doors were 3D printed by the same friend that usually 3D prints everything for us. Um, but yeah, they come across there, they're magnetized. Um, Eric, whose terrain this is, actually uh, made sure all the magnets work together. Um, yep, all right, here we are. This is the original map he's going to be putting this on, so you're gonna be seeing some pieces that uh, I'm gonna be building in this uh, video. Yeah, we got a tower there, we got the uh, uh, Promethium tanks. Um, I used, uh, I added more than several different kits to this, but if you wanna take a look at a little closer, which we'll get, we'll be getting there right after this little Facebook blast. The uh, the bulkheads themselves, I glued all kinds of uh, 3D or uh, sorry, Games Workshop uh, kits to it. Like that one right there, the boarding action kit from Games Workshop. So as always, you know, you have grand plans and you start cutting and you know the saw get things up and the plan here is to add these these are supposed to go to the boarding action uh bulkheads but they should easily be able to work here right you know and you always have your grand plan and i'm like oh, i'm just gonna use super glue you know it'll work out great <laughs> yeah you know uh yeah <laughs> As always happens to me when I'm sitting here videoing. I'm like, come on, please, please. Oh, all right, fine. I guess I'm gonna have to use the baking soda to add some rust effects. I wasn't planning on doing this part of it, um, but I'm certainly not gonna use activator spray on the, this large size of a project here. So, um, yeah. yeah, so that's the end result there with the whole boarding action kit. Uh, yeah, the guns move on the little little thing there. Um, yeah, here we go. A little bit closer uh, as to what this looks like, which is a bit, you know, not exactly Games Workshop-y, but, um, you know, totally playable. Um, I think these are going to look really cool all, pick, all, all painted up when they get done here. Something to be said about building terrain not necromunda wise. Um, yeah, this this is meant to have space for you know big squads of models on it. Now I haven't played 30k. Um, okay, here we are. Uh, but it, it, needless to say, yeah, there's a lot of ideas. He got me a lot of kits here. We got this pump, uh, the pump station pipe kit here. Um, you know, I, I, there's a lot of stuff. This is the regular Promethean pipe kit um, he managed to get for me. Uh, we got, it's just, oh, one other thing on this one. I am attempting to use model cement a little bit more on the GW models. Um, when I finally figured out how to use it correctly, please don't cringe too badly or laugh too hard at me for everybody else in the world that uses bottle cement. Um, yeah, I never got it to really work very well, but for this kind of stuff, like I said, I wanted to be a little cleaner with the plastics and with the overall board itself. There's going to be some 
some uh, Etrius and some wear. It's just going to be done more with a brush than, uh, you know, if than what I normally do anyways. Um, yeah, and basically, you know, we're, we're, it's nice because, you know, I don't usually work with this stuff very much. Uh, and it's always good to get practice. Um, yeah, this was a fun project. I was getting more excited as I was going through this uh, to build this stuff. Uh, which, to be perfectly honest, it took me a little bit to get the gumption up you know, to work on this, because I don't normally like building boards like this anymore. I like it tight. I like the hive. I like the sump. Um, ash waste terrain. Yeah, I have plenty of it. It's not my most enjoyable stuff to do. This is the stuff that I like to do. It's one of the reasons I'm thinking about Mordheim in the future. Um, I like videoing this. I like detailing it. I like all this. This was a nice step away, though. Um, so this photo that's going on right now, this is actually Eric at the store um, putting this together for the first time. So he can get a good visual, you know, as to how this is gonna go and the different options that I put into this. Um, every one of these bulkheads and walls has something on it. Uh, so instead of poster work, or adding a whole bunch of you know gritty grime texture um, i am going to add some rust in the paint job it's going to be a little more cleaner like a starship but um yeah it just painting differently uh it, it's an exercise i i recommend for most people that like doing this hobby you know to be in kind of like i do um, it's always good to expand your skill levels. Use some different products. Um, there's, there's no reason not to do it. There's, otherwise, you're just being a Scrooge. Who wants to be a Scrooge? There's plenty of those out there already. I mean, if you're doing this kind of stuff, you know, you should, I, don't, I don't understand why they're in this hobby that we have. But, you know, they are. And, uh, you know, I want to promote not being like that. So we're gonna we're gonna branch out. Um, I have no idea how this video is going to go. Uh, this is not normally things that we <laughs> Jay and I do, but you know, like silver bayonet, sludge. There's no reason not to do any of these game systems because we all love modeling and we like playing games. You know, as I get older, of course, it's harder and harder to remember all these blasted rules for all these games all the time and you know and people get into stickling <laughs> you know about whether you know how to play the game you know sure i know how to play the game i can roll dice i got models that look good on the table hey you know i that should be sufficient as long as everybody can have a good time and i'm all about having a good time because if i'm not doing this i'm working watching kids swim, you know, being a dad, all that other stuff. The whole reason I do this is, you know, to stay away, or not to stay away, but um, to get a break from that, basically. Wow, here we go. We got uh, another configuration for these Promethium tanks. This is really cool. I'm going to have to use this the next time that I do an Ash Waste set. But yeah, basically with this one, all those pipes I was gluing together, uh, you can turn those, the tower and everything else into one huge thing in the middle if you want. Um, really had, have had a blast on this. Yeah, there's Necromunda bulkheads because of course there has to be Necromunda um, barricades and bulkheads in this. This is inside of a ship. I mean, you know, obviously. Why wouldn't it be? Um, yeah. This was a lot more fun than I was thinking it was going to. I was thinking this was one was going to be a drudge. It has not been. The facial expression on Eric when he was pulling all this stuff out, I tried to get on camera and, of course, didn't shoot correctly. And, of course, all the vocals for that, you know, didn't work because the microphone wasn't working because I was too excited that this whole thing was happening. But, anyways... Um, Thank you guys so much for stopping by. 
I know it's a little bit more talking than normal in this one, but you know, we're, we're swinging things up a little bit with the channel. I hope you enjoyed. There will be a painting on this soon. Um, thanks for stopping by again and have a great night.